Today, I'm going to teach you the makeup tips on how to make your selfie not suck. By the end of this video, you will look like something like this. This is also applicable to any occasions that involves a lot of photographs such as weddings, birthdays, and you just want to look as good as you can be. To have that perfect selfie, please keep on watching. Use primer to blur out your pores especially if you have large pores like me. Mix as a foundation for that flawless airbrush look and to even out your skin color. No SPF to avoid that white cast in photos. In here, I'm using Estee Lauder. Next, let's use a concealer. I'm using Bobbi Brown. Let's use it under the eyes to hide that dark circles. Nose forehead, side of the nose, chin, side of the mouth. Let's also include our eyelids to act as a primer as well and under the brow bone. Let's hide that zombie look and let's also delete the pimple. I have a pimple scar here. What I don't understand is that I always have a pimple, especially when there's a big event that I will go to. It's like that my pimples planned it. Let's use a matte powder to set the concealer that we put and also to prolong the makeup and brighten up the face. In here, I'm using Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just going to use any of the three in here but probably I'll use these two. Just dab it and don't swipe it so that we will not remove the product. Make sure to blend everything to avoid that powdery look in photos. Now, let's contour. I'm going to use last these three. Probably, I'm going to use this. Contouring put dimension back in your face, especially in photographs where your face appears flat. If you want to lose weight and you hate diet and exercise, just like me, contouring is the key. Comment down below if you also hate diet and exercise and would do anything just to lose weight. Of course, don't forget to contour the side of your nose. Let's put on blush. I'm using Estee Lauder because flash photography removes the color of your face. So I'm just going to smile and put at the apples of your cheek. For the highlight, I'm going to use Becca. This will make you shine in photos. So put it at the bridge of your nose, the top of your cheekbones, above the eyeshadow, cupid's bow, chin, to make you shine and glow in photos. Let's fill in the brows. Let's brush it with a spoolie first. I will use Clinique Skinny Stick. Flash in photos can remove your brows. Fuller brows looks youthful and sweet. Now let's apply a brow gel to set our eyebrows. I'm using Clinique Just Browsing. Yesterday, I saw a girl and her eyebrow, I kid you not, looks like she's sponsoring night. <laughs> Now, for the eyes, let's use an eyeshadow and I'm going to use Kat Von D. I will use this color, a brown shape, and then I will put it in the crease of my eyebrows. And then blend away. Then let's use a gold shimmery shade using the ring finger. I will put it on my eyelids to intensify the color. Let's highlight the inner corner of our eyes because it just looks so beautiful in photos. Let's also highlight under the brow bone for the lifted brow effect. 
I hate it when I spend like two days blending my eyeshadow to perfection and then I will mess it up when I apply a wing liner. Now for the liquid eyeliner, I'm going to use MAC Donald's. Apply as thin as possible. We just want to frame the eyelids. Now let's apply a mascara. I'm going to use MAC Donald's again. You can also put false eyelashes if you want, as sometimes in photos, mascaras cannot be seen. I'm going to use red cherry wispy lashes. First in the middle of the eye, and then at the ends, and then at the inner corner. The glue will be transparent as long as it dries completely. Compare this side to this side. This eye looks more open. Again, let's just put it in the middle of the eyelid and then connect it to the outer part. And then lastly, is in the inner part. For me, false eyelashes is okay as long as you look natural. But sometimes I see girls, their false eyelashes are so dramatic and it looks like they will take a flight if they blink too fast. Now, let's move to the lip. I would like to use a lip liner for that fuller looking smile. I will use NYX and the color of this is Paris. Same with the eyebrows, lip shape can be washed out as well. And this is the finished look. Now, it's time to take a selfie. Let's spend hours getting ready to make sure guys notice us ignoring them. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button here and watch my other videos by clicking this button here. Bye!